Welcome back to the VSD channel. Samsung released a brand new version of One Head Operation Plus, which is probably one of the most beloved good luck modules together, of course, with Home Up. Now, what is new? Luckily, this time there is a change lock. They added some new things, which I'm gonna show you guys. They also moved the vibration settings to the gesture settings, so this is kind of like a reorganization. The new things are, they added a quick vibration setting, which I'm gonna show to you, and also new action modes. And they also fixed an issue with animation included when capturing a screen. Now, this version is 6.8.27.0 from the 9th of January, almost eight megabytes. And the first thing we are gonna test is as reading the change log. Well, here it is. I'm just doing a screenshot of my Marvel's home screen. And I know there's gonna be questions where is this wallpaper, guys? I'm gonna put a link down below. Just go visit and download it, astonishing wallpaper. So the first things first, now one more time, I'm doing a screenshot, it works all nice. And of course, I'm already using One Head Operation Plus. I'm now back in the One Head Operation Plus menu. And when I engage with the gesture settings, I can indeed see that they moved the vibration settings here, all right? And one thing that is new is the so-called quick vibration. Now, what does it do, guys? It vibrates immediately when a gesture is recognized instead of waiting until you release your finger. Now, let me show you how this works in the old style. I'm engaging here with my quick settings, right? And the moment I just lift off my finger, boom, there is this vibration. And I can do this also with this task changer, right? So the vibration in the old cell is only executed when the action is performed. Now in the quick vibration, the moment I engage it, right? The vibration follows. Simply as that, just listen. Vibration, setting. Vibration, quick switcher, all right? And now the old style. Quick menu, vibration. Tasker and then vibration. So honestly, I prefer this new option for the quick vibration as I do believe is more tactile. And then of course we have the custom vibration intensity. And of course you can regulate, set up the vibration level. Now I'm gonna go back into the handles. Now in my right handle, I have included the new thing and then it's new action is mode. And let me tell you why I like this. So use case scenario. I'm about to go to bed to sleep. So what do you do guys? Usually because you know, I'm using the Samsung watch. I have to engage with my watch. And from here, I need to select this sleep. So the moment I select my sleep routine, this synchronizes also with my phone, as you can see here, right? So then I know nobody will disturb me when I'm engaging into my sleep, which we know is very important. See here, it's engaged. Now, with this new modes action, well, let me show you. The moment I do so, boom, immediately I'm presented with the modes and I can just turn it off and on just like this. So I can go and set up the relaxed one and you can see it's relaxed. I can also, of course, engage with some of my routines like test or even let's say like clean RAM. And I can, of course, also go and switch off and on sleep, which really makes the most important settings for me. Because again, this is something that I really use in my daily routine. And this is all about it, guys. And this is why we love Samsung. It's very versatile. They keep pumping new features every day. And we are just weeks before, hopefully I'll have in my hand the S24 Ultra. And don't forget to come back, not only for Samsung, because yesterday I bought the Oppo Find X7 Ultra. Four cameras, all 50 megapixel, Sony new LYT900 main one in sensor. It's gonna be crazy, guys. Crazy comparisons in the next few months. Thank you so much for watching. VST over and bye.